Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm going to try and make this one a really quick one because unfortunately I'm a bit sick. But um, it seems like a lot of people uh, have asked on the RepRap Discount Forum um, about reversing their Bulldog Extruders because um, they are marketed as reversible and there doesn't... Uh, the instructions... what instructions? <laughs> they don't come with any instructions at all. So I figured I'd just quickly um, show you, if you've got a Bulldog XL, how to mirror it, that is to get the motor and the gearbox um, onto the other side of the of the extruder. Now this is the policy applies for the normal Bulldog as well, not the XL version. Um, you just don't have to worry about the reduction gearbox. Now um, it's not immediately apparent how you reverse it when you first pull it apart. You take it apart and you look at this and you think, oh, I'll flip it. Um, that's not the case. So I'm actually building another Ordbot Hadron for a co-worker. Um, and I found when I built my Ordbot that the this stepper motor would actually slam into the X carriage stepper motor uh, before I exhausted all of my bed um, or if a wire got pinched in there. And I, I just don't like it. That tolerance is a little too close for me. So personally on my Ordbots, I flip it to the other side. I'm just going to show you how easy that, that is. Um, now, you don't need to change the bed um, for the, the, the... You don't need to change the cooling fan to the other side, but for neatness, you can print out another bed. The instructions, the design is on um, RepRap Discount. Anyway, you're going to start by taking off the Grove Mount hardware. So grab your large Allen key and start taking that off. Now, when I say quick, I'm going to try and do all this in one take. Um, and hopefully not be a half hour video. So take off your Grove Mount. My fat hands there. And put that aside. You'll notice that we have a brass bushing in the bottom here and this is what makes it not apparent. If you actually look, the, the top and the bottom are the same. Sorry, the top and the bottom are the same. The only difference is this brass insert. Now we can take that out. Just undoes like that, very simple. Okay, and now the bottom and the top are identical. Okay, so now we've got two options. We can just flip it over like that, and our logo's upside down, or if we really want, we can turn this around the right way. Now, um, really, if you just if you're happy with the logo being the wrong way, just put your brass back in and do it up. That's it, you're done. Put your filament in the top there, reverse your extruder steps in your con uh, reverse your extruder steps in your config and you'll be done. But if you're a uh, pain in the bum like I am and you want this to be the right way, well, it's not that much harder. We take the brass out. Quickly undo our end cap. Okay, a couple of Allen keys in the end cap. You do pretty much have to tie, tear the whole extruder down, but it's not as scary as it looks. Take the end cap off. Inside you'll have your um, tensioner. Just undo the uh, bolts on the tensioner. Now we probably don't have to do this step, but I I I just worry about my pulley, so um, I don't like any pressure on it when I'm fiddling with it. I'm I'm one of the guys that loosens off the adjustment screws when I change my filament sometimes. Take the springs out, take the tensioner um, assembly and the bearing out. You don't need to disassemble that. Inside the extruder body, you'll find there is four recessed Allen keys that go through the um, uh, reduction drive box and through the um, in, into the stepper motor. If you don't have the reduction drive box, this obviously doesn't apply. So on an, as I said, on a non-XL, you literally just turn the thing upside down and change the brass. So, grab our Allen key. Undo these four. Three, number four, and this whole assembly will now just lift straight off. You, 
can then just grab the, your Bulldog XL logo, turn it upside, you can take it straight off, turn it upside down, put it on, put this back on with no changes whatsoever, and do these bolts up with the correct Allen key. One, two, This one's a little tight. Three. Number four. And we're just going to go around and quickly tighten them all just to make sure we're all good. Now you can take the, the um, reduction motor off and stuff, but uh, if you've got an XL like I do, might as well leave it up. Okay, put the tensioner assembly back in. So then, uh, the tensioner assembly does have a right and a wrong way, I should point out. The side with the um, Allen key is the side that goes in, the side with the bolt is the side that goes out. It just makes it sliding around easier. And you just check that you can slide that backwards and forwards before you assemble it. Grab your two springs and your adjustment screws. If they stay together like this, great. If not, reassemble them as you put it back in. Put a couple of turns on those. Grab your other one, stick it together. We're just basically going through the motions now. Now, in my experience, I've found about three turns after it goes flush with the button, it's about tight enough. Okay, put your end cap back on, running up the hole with the tab in the main extruder body, put in two Allen keys. Tighten that up. Yeah, the rallying key. Tighten that up. And you'll see now we have an extruder that's mirrored on the other side. As I said, we could have just flipped it, but you know, I'm pedantic. We now grab our brass insert and it goes in the bottom. Now this brass insert is also keeps the, um, the uh, tensioner captive. So if you ever try to remove a jam, keep in mind you'll need to remove this brass insert. Just make sure that's nice and tight without stripping anything. Grab your um, grove mount and stick that back on the bottom, starting with the small nut, the small allen key, make your life easier. Uh, this allen key. No. This one. They all look the same. Once again, don't do that one up tight until you get the other one in because it's a little bit of a pain. One thing I will point out, obviously, if you reverse this, the grove mount's now backwards. But in all fair honesty, that doesn't matter. The machined, the machined indentation in the in the extruder head will still hold any extruder that you put in that's normally compatible with the Bulldog. And then you just put it into your fan base and it's backwards. If you want, um, if you want a fan base that goes the other way, just print one. Um, if, if this is your first printer, like mine was, um, you can get it together using the existing fan base and then flip it. But there you go, that's how you flip your Bulldog XL extruder.